How's it going? Welcome to a live stream here on Past Teach of Skin. We're just about to get ready for the PlayStation meeting. Um, we just ran out the door to go into the shop and we end up, of course, giving ourselves very little time to make it back. First game live, time. anything can happen! Yeah, speaking of which, I haven't got the sound on. <laughs> <laughs> well, I've got our sound on, but I haven't got the sound from... Um, I might just do it that way. Oh, you fucking gypsy. Uh, yeah. Keep racial slurs to a minimum. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ, man! <laughs> Not even don't say them. Just keep them to a minimum. Why is that visiting my? Oh, it's the advertisement that's gone. Uh, of course, you can always find us on twitch.tv forward slash pastiche of skin. This show has now just gone live, and we have no sign. Hang on a second. I need to dive out of the frame to get that. Doesn't <laughs> oh, that sound good? Oh, they can. All right. <sighs> Are you finished with that one? That's what she said. Uh, Live streaming, folks. This is what happens. Yeah, it's just like that. Every time you, you rattle anything there or pull at that, it's going to actually disrupt the audio for a long time. How bad? Like, I've watched shit that has worse than so. Like, I'm of the opinion, man. Like, as a filmmaker, if something looks like shit. People will still watch it, but it sounds great. So the moment people hear a single kind of, uh, I apologize for this, and I will do my best to talk over it. Or, oh, uh, you can't do that. You I can, can, I can, can you kill you? me? I only, I only make both uh, during off both of us because it's the mixing death because we're far away from us. That's okay. That. Have you got it yet? Shoot. Stop falling down! All right. Do you want me to fix that for you? No, no, no. You're all right. Double worse over the years. Essentially, what I would say is, yeah, essentially make sure to bolt tight there so it actually just doesn't fall down from there. And that should do the job. Hey, listeners! Welcome to the uh, slip on our spider gun t shirt. And of course, a welcome to Past T Skin. Not the slip on our. Okay, I'm sorry to say, man, I'm sweating here, and after all that setup, I think we need a beer. Beer! Or whatever it is that we're drinking tonight. So then we're drinking the finest from Strongbow. Well, I was going to say, we're, <laughs> un we're not sponsored by anyone, if anyone was an alcoholic, hey, if they want, if they want to wants to sponsor us, if I'm not to pay me to drink their booze, I will happily do so, but until then, we will just actually go with the cheapest available, fine, fine beverage that it is. Strike, strike gold, team GB, you know? It's a bit late for that, no, you... <laughs> oh, yeah, I forgot about that. Yeah, well, no, 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 the Paralympics, this is, uh, Paralympics, Paralympics is on? Yeah. That works. All right, still so bold. Yep. Is that the the rise of superhuman thing we did an advertising campaign on mobile as well? Uh, yeah. Uh, Remember yeah. that? It was actually it was pretty cool. That uh, was a song by Oh God. Uh, harder than you think. That was last year, not this year. Is the Paralympics every four years same as the Olympics, or is it actually? No, by... no, it's, it's the same as the Olympics. It's the week. I think it's like the week or a few days right. after or something. So it was, uh, I can't remember, it was actually a scientist or a doctor that came over after World War II that actually invented the power books. It was actually for uh, people who had been initially, it was like, oh, this is like initially an injured in war. Yeah, it was for people originally injured in war. Do you want the war? Oh, good old uh, Del Boy reference there. Oh, yeah. yeah. Play it cool, Drake. Play it cool, play it cool. Alright, gun dead. You so. Do you? You want the mixer? I would mind some. Thank you very much. So, as I pointed out to you whenever we're down at the store, PlayStation never, ever gets their conferences started up on time. Well, maybe they should get their shit together and actually start on time. Well, you know, do like a five minute countdown or something. I don't know why I put four up for a five minute countdown, but if you want to crack me, you can get me on Real World Combi on Twitter. <laughs> See how I gotta write that to you? Yeah, this is the fact that you always need to be kind of like correct every single time. And our I say something. That sounds like it's maybe right, and then you go, no, you just give it. Oh, uh, no, I just, I like to put a cap on it. A night cap? Well, whenever I put a cap on it, it's usually to make sure there's no babies. Night cap? No, ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba. Uh, see, I was just gonna go for that night cap. No, don't wear them. Well, I was going more for uh, a gun reference, man. Oh, right, no. That's that's okay. I haven't seen Nick Gun for a long time. I'm gonna have to sit down and rewatch those movies. They're really, really good. I mean, that's where whenever people ask the question, like, where did satire go? They said, well, Leslie Nielsen died. I was scared that I opened the world because to be honest, man, I wasn't that great either. Hey, you take that back. Right now. He's a national treasure. He's a national fucking treasure, but, um, 
even any stuff, the amount of Mel Brooks comedies that get a little bit crap in the last, like the last period that they're being You get like more than 50% laughs from a film. It's, oh, oh, you know, is oh. it certain? <laughs> hey! <laughs> and then they get, oh, you cut tease. Nah, no, that's essentially just the way they're doing an interview action because it's like, could have. Uh, Please welcome changes. to the stage, Andrew House. Okay. Oh, hello, Andrew House. Andrew House in the house! House Andrew. Yeah. Who's house? Good afternoon, everyone. Andrew's house! Three and a half years ago, on the People stage of this tiny hands, man. we Thank presented you. our vision for oh the future God. of gaming and interactive yeah, entertainment. Our belief in them, which tanks. continues to animate our efforts today, to is how to make access to right. content and experiences vastly more simplified and streamlined. Yeah, our desire was and is to demonstrate the ways the living room would no longer be the center of the PlayStation ecosystem, the gamer would. Yeah. Our success would rely not only on a package of next generation technologies, like but on reconceptualizing really how the game consumer would want to play today, tomorrow, and in the future. I think it's going to play push the mobile game even though they didn't have any or anything on the marketing work. PS4 was founded on the conviction of giving gamers the multi dimensional and transformative play experiences. They expect so to push the again. long term I partnerships with the best developers, a console with user experience at the core, a network that is faster, more social, more personalized, the thing is the and PSN brings entertainment to life. I, I think before. I've heard maybe five with more than 40 million voice chat units since I've actually got PlayStation 4. We are on nobody, nobody voice chat at all. The platform has wow. Achieved. And you want, However, you want to know there are still a lot of oh, voice voice so that nobody waiting knows to join the PlayStation That's the reason why there's actually no lag. <laughs> that <laughs> is why we will introduce a Would be why you're sitting on a private chat. Nobody really does the like, public chat, and then public chat and not changed it. Unless you go to look for it, and then you... The new model, here. which is the standard PS4 moving forward, will appeal to a wider audience who are looking to buy the best interactive entertainment system Yes, and I know you're there. Despite the slick design, the new model packs all the same powerful Mes components that have Message. made PS4 the best place to play. Like I said, well, I With the new PS4 model, models. you can immediately enjoy exclusive entertainment experiences dirt such dirt. as Uncharted 4 <laughs> and PlayStation View, our cloud-based TV service. Yeah, so I have tried and to use PS View, right? is just the around the corner, but the PlayStation VR, for the which the gets month, month, as well as, well as an amazing lineup of PS4 games. Including the Last Guardian, Call of Duty, yeah, Infinite Warfare, and Watch Dogs 2. The, 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 no the, the new PS4 model will be in most markets by September 15th. For $200 million, representing a tremendous value for gamers. For those who have yet to join the PS4 community, there's you know, never been a better time. time. Are they named? The PS4 Are they still games the continue to deliver new experiences that redefine interactive entertainment, and developers are just hitting their stride, are pushing they, the graphics, really? narrative, mm. and gameplay farther on PS4 than ever before. PlayStation 4 has indeed been the grand canvas that we hoped it could be, supporting a tremendous variety of titles from AAA to smaller digital <laughs> games, all tied together yeah, with the PlayStation. I know, but this is like I'm, I'm feeling bored because, because he's talking. <laughs> yeah, no, I was like, I honestly hope that they were going to do like the big, bombastic trailer and fucking reveal at the beginning, but this is the sales power. Uh, Sony's always well known for doing those. They actually, they've got all the It's always our intention to well, design the PlayStation yeah. 4 as a platform so to stimulate and, and fuel the future of the This vision of the future and the architecture that would enable it was designed into the product from the very beginning. However, we realize that for the very highly discriminating gamer, there is always a well, desire for advancement, and they want it this generation. <laughs> that's, that's, that's <laughs> the discriminatory is not discriminating the difference. Bringing with it new ways to realize the aspirations oh, of the gaming community, it's more we're about people, that's what and accelerating is. our innovation cadence. One such technology we focused on is display. 3D. Display right. technology offers so much potential if oh, well, they content no, they're to leverage about, what's they're not possible super wide, visual acuity, precision, and high resolution. Oh, yeah. 
Yeah, which with PlayStation 4, we're pretty Sorry, much maxing out what a is to do. Just go and get your oven. Gamers and developers alike are always hunting for ways to heighten their gameplay experiences, which is why we're excited about 4K and high dynamic range for HDR. It's a way that technology can deliver a level of detail that's unprecedented. I mean, this is the thing that we push for 4K. I don't see how many people know that I have 4K TV. you know, because like, so oh, people, this, people get that whenever they actually just upgrade their TV. So yeah, pretty much upgrade the TV. So you have 4K TV, you men get 4K content unless TV smart to YouTube. PlayStation 4 uh, Pro will sit uh, alongside and complement the standard PS4. This is the PS4 Pro. We named so it PS4 Pro, Pro, Pro to symbolize that it is part of this generation and targeted to the hardcore gamer or those so who are the they're best at the Pro. At launch, uh, PS4 Pro too. will be the right. number one name. provider of high yeah, resolution you know, you know, and HDR is. content. PS4 Pro we the actual, is, is a magazine and a company, and the, like, the guys got, they've got probably like 20, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, PlayStation, PlayStation 4 Pro? Because yeah. the chemical When designing PlayStation 4, we had a vision of what could come and created the necessary hardware to support it. We wanted a breadth of titles from AAA to Indian, so we made sure that PS4 was easy for developers to use. We believed in creating a frictionless experience for the game. Yeah, it is. So we made sure to equip PS4 with a hard drive to shorten load times, as well as the really required so support for suspending and quickly resuming games. What you like to play a game? <laughs> With that he is very kind of foundation, we but were able to do more for Oh, yeah. And as a result, a vibrant gaming community has grown around the console. PS4 Pro is not intended to blur the lines between console generations. Instead, the vision is to take the PS4 experience to extraordinary new heights. What's the episode? First and foremost, our oh, goal is to deliver where the guys like, oh. graphics. Oh, that's it. That's not a bad idea. With that in mind, I'm working double. It's a perfect button. You know, like, versus like raising the portion of the Yeah. <laughs> so, right, there are, there are outlines of what's going to be. Like, there, we already know pretty much the specs. We're going to be as well. We're going to know for ages. Efficient rendering for 4K displays. But, um, allowing titles. On yeah, that's what it is. Like, it's a 4K upgrade. It's not fought on console. A move to make sure that whenever you play PSVR, you're getting full 1080p on both screens, kind of thing. Right. So clock rate means load times will be done, we uh, less popping. There'll be with the upgrade GPU, you, you can actually run larger and better displays. I have no idea what this thing will offer. And we a number of mechanisms for easily transferring your game library and entitlements from the standard model to the new console. All right, so essentially it allows you to download again. We're also <laughs> PS4 Pro with a one terabyte hard drive. Ah, that's stupid because I already have two TV in line. Don't tell them that, you know. The result of probably, you, you, yeah, but they're, they're, they're going to be charging for you for a larger game or just driving them first. That's fine, that's grand. But make sure at the minute, you, you know, most people are happy and content with the 500 games they want. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, I had to. Uh, well, I literally had to because I'm actually running, what, the four well crisis points. So it's actually like, I had to worry about it because I'm, more, I'm sourcing games from outside of the country as well. So I decide, I have to have multiple versions of games even at the moment. 4K HDR and unprecedented. 4K HDR HDTV. Today we have as an industry been supporting 720p and 1080p HDTVs with one or two million pixels. 4K TVs provide a staggering eight million yeah, pixels yeah. of display resolution. Mm -hmm. The achievable visual depth and detail wait, is are excellent? extraordinary. Yeah. Wait, is it? Brute force right? Look at this. I thought that are all the wheels. wheels. Man. Man. But they nice picture though. Yeah. If we're gonna come there, if we're gonna display like 4K and content. And you come to Ireland and make sure every real so, drop is in HD. Oh, yeah, we should. Well, it's definitely with them. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry to offend any Welsh people out there. 
when complimented. <laughs> I was actually about to swear to you more, but I completely forgot the words. The results can be sounded. The results can be sounded. He's throwing us before a loop of his... Like, his excitement has really, really put me off the reels. Oh! He's the guy with the ball of death. Time. <laughs> the most boring, boring, boring man in Ireland. No, what he wanted was a not not quick forceful voice. The show will be making yeah, it's that guy. In 4K, on video on demand, so that you'll be able to better Wait, did you voice the scoff of the in that column? Uh, uh, Turbo, or like the, the guy from uh, Zootopia? These first yeah. images are from yeah. Marvel's Spider-Man. He developed for Insomniac and announced at E3 this year. So this is from PS4 Pro? The detail of the city is incredible. My new features such as the this are, in the distance would just be so not even game rendered, it's just a test rendered. But rendered. here they are crisp characters. Oh, oh Spider Man! Spider -Man. The text is for Spider Man. Breathtakingly clear. Uh, which I looks kind of impressive. Oh, wait, yeah. yeah. is this going to be for Homecoming? Of course, they're going to use Spider Man. This, this, this well, no, it's, a, it's a PlayStation 4 exclusive Spider Man. It's not related to Homecoming. It's just on the new oh, crappy shit. What we look for in games the intensity and authenticity of experience. Has never been more. Is this for What you may find surprising is that the models and textures being used here, whether they be for the environment or for these two historic warriors, Every are in fact the exact the same ones that were created for the standard. I will kill you. <laughs> the difference is in the high rendering resolution that PS4 Pro can see. Yeah, so that's, uh, that's the whole point they're trying to make. They're trying to make it very clear that everything that's made for the PS4 Pro isn't made only for the PS4 Pro, it's actually made for the PS4, and just happens to be the PS4 Pro can actually show it to its maximum volume. So essentially, it's, it's a difference between uh, the backward compatible. It's being backward compatible. It's actually saying that the games that you bought for a PC work with the most more up to date graphics cards. That's what it is. It's a graphics card upgrade. Pretty much all together, that's all it is. Augmented hero antigens. It's a GPU upgrade and a CPU upgrade and well that allows you to actually use the GPU to its maximum. It doesn't bottleneck at the CPU. Which probably will be improved by the uh, PS4 That's Slim as well. They'll probably get a small CPU boost in the PS4 Slim, but no GPU change. Uh, that, I'm actually not aware of that. That's the, the, um, the, 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 the new one, Rise of the Tomb I mean, I haven't played a great character to play a new game. Like, well, they, they, they rebooted the series a couple of years ago with hair, this kind of style. This is the second one in the series. This is the second one in the reboot series. It was exclusive to the Xbox only up until like a month ago. This, this is truly Wait, a showcase. Turn around to be exclusive to the Xbox okay. because uh, Crystal Dynamics or Eidos or whoever it is said made a deal with Mario, and then Microsoft paid them to say like it's only for you because Uncharted was coming out in the PlayStation, so they wanted something against Uncharted. Are some scenes from Watch Dogs? My standpoint is just to be better. Ah, but it's not owned by Sony; it's owned by Eidos. So it's a third-party game, so the third party can do whatever the fuck they want. Ah, well, that's kind of kidding. Well, if somebody pays them, somebody pays them. No, 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 no. Rush to match out to the group PlayStation for a long time. It's the same as that, but I mean, there's so many time releases, like, it's happened for plenty of games in the past. I, trust me, you never see fucking Halo on PlayStation 4. Ah, but that's because it's, that's because it's first party. That's first party. Ah. It's made, it's made by, it's made and sponsored by Psycho. You know what I'm It's the same, it's the same. Now I don't know a lot of the history stuff, but, you know, I thought, because people think about PlayStation recently, that's Sony where. didn't have very many first party titles back. So Sony actually had what the reason why Sony did so well was because they had a lot of third party support. While a lot of other companies like Nintendo and Microsoft and Sega only had themselves to support their consoles until third parties joined in. And it always meant it was like it, the conversions for their consoles was, was always this? a secondary thought. Is that the Finally, I'd like to show you some uh, that's Watch Dogs to join floor two. We know that diversity of gaming experiences is key to the appeal of PlayStation. Consequently, we've kept the same looks. programming model of PS4. Jesus Christ. Uh, he is, he's knocking me the fuck out. <laughs> to bring their titles keep to PS4. Keep that there, then. You already passed it over me. I'll make something like that. That means I'm going to have to move my mic again, man. High dynamic range. Which, okay, I honestly HDR thought the stream would stop there for a second to go completely silent. Advanced in TV technology. Like, can you think about this? This is actually so... People are watching him live and going like... Oh my god, this is boring! I mean, the person in the room is not... There's... Human At least one person in that room is asleep. No, I think they're all on the laptops. Not the fuck out these guys here down the laptop. Well, they're probably the press guys posting and stuff as it goes up to all of us. I would love to see, like, convention somebody zooms out to the other room. Do you know, just like somebody saying Galaga or something? That guy's playing Galaga! Come on, Theory, what are you doing? HDR TVs do much. What are you doing? One eye patch. 
Or one A, but one, one A. Yeah. I have to say, the thing that makes it easier to keep on with it. Yep. Use different algorithms when rendering I'm double the fury. I have two eye patches. <laughs> double the fury. <laughs> Steal the fury, bitch. Steal the fury. I think what, what, what uh, we'll have to do for next time is have the uh, it's mostly a matter of connecting water cooler and stuff. HDR capable device. No, I'm thinking because uh, it would have been easy if we actually had bought beer or something, or actually because then we'd just be popping lids, popping lids. To give you a feeling for the HDR difference, here's a picture. Oh, here's HDR. Oh. This is HDR actually is? being shown to you using uh, HDR TVs, but we so are restricting the inequality to the roughly what the highest contrast, the highest darks, and stuff like that or something. Mm -hmm. I can't remember what it is, but I remember but here it it's is like three head. images, full power one image made up from three different images, taken at the same time. Yeah. The difference is amazing. HDR is very is, HDR works. The problem is, HDR doesn't work for fucking everything. We're just like making a point of saying, like, our oh, HDR is going to be amazing. Like, hey, we good. But what if we want it to look realistic? For HDR on PS4 Pro. But for those that do, well, let me just give you a glimpse here. Whoa, it's because man, he's, uh, you know, he is really. Oh, we're going to see how now we're going Have you heard of this game? Days Gone? No. So, GTA for Zombies in the middle of nowhere. So, this is utilizing oh, all the details of the game. Duty, but but GTA? No, third person, so GTA. Do I need GTA as first person, not first person? Changes. Counters behind. Not neutral. Whatever not it is that you <laughs> like to see. Call of Duty, but yeah, Call of Duty Zombies. Well, it's not But essentially, it's, it's like you're a former, you're a biker or whatever after the apocalypse and you're surviving. Yeah, unless you're standing at that. Daytime scenes are great for showcasing HDR, oh. but nighttime scenes show its potential as well. <laughs> I'm not curious about. Wait, wait, there we go. Uh, using HDR in nighttime, so you can actually do darkness without being blacked out. Makes sense. Here, the Freaker Horde has come out to be. So what if it's not good night? What if it's a big part of the game? Yeah, the implication is that yeah, they all always like a few Molotov cocktails. Molotov. Why would you? Th well, I know they're all sitting in one single spot. But that's not going to do enough damage. Oh, now they're all running at you. And on fire. Burn the stairs first. I think you've never been in an apocalypse before. <laughs> Those who played Naughty Dog's Uncharted 4 may remember this interactive chase scene. You're now seeing it at much higher resolution and in HDR, which makes it even more yeah, of a spectacle. We so only see it at the resolution that our TV will let us see it at, which is, oh, which is 3 long, actually at 720p. <laughs> <laughs> so we're not getting any of the better ones. These are all getting to see each other. Times brighter Showing stuff dimension. like this is the same as trying to show people what VR is like on stage. This is horribly, horribly done. This is, this is unless you're this there. The hero yeah. in no, the first light. light. That's the thing, they're going. I like the fact that they're showing older games. If you they're showing that games that are old that enough that you already own these. Yep. You but if you get a PS4 Plus, you'll get to see these same games looking better. Mm. Come on, guys. That's what, that's what their implication yeah, is. Give me, give me some like saving filter for the, play, the original play. That's a, they're, that's a, they're, not, they're showing older games that are already, that are already that out. They're not showing any, I don't think they're going to show a single new title in this at all. But you don't need a 4K TV or an HDR TV to experience the benefits of PS4 Whoa, it's, That's a lie. It's the art TV? Display the console oh, okay. to. Okay. Consequently, developers are free to tailor the experience to best fit the type of TV being used. Well, it's just as you see the PS4 yeah. Pro to an HDTV. I, I, I got dishes. Jerry rigged my PlayStation 4 to so just CRT. First What's up this? is a comparison of standard model and PS4 Pro graphics on Paragon. Epic Games has chosen to increase the quality of the graphics in a number of ways. Sorry, so this actually shows a comparison of what the difference is between higher scene capacity. What it looks like on a normal HD TV with what's added on because you're good. Because it knows you're not using 4K. Yep. So it actually adds more of, of ambient occlusion and lighting and stuff to cover the fact that well you're not seeing it in 4K, so we have all that power left over. So why don't we just add these other Here bits? That was a great fucking game. Shadow was another really amazing. Used to bring the detail of the high resolution imagery over to a 1080p display. And it looked gorgeous on PC whenever I played it. I think it was the first game I ever played on my uh, 970 GTX 970. This is oh, oh my god, this is amazing. Again, this time playing yep. on an HD <laughs> You can see how the extra power of the new console is used to boost the visual. Uh, damn, how, did I not, how did I not, how did I not realize? So, you know, the what the PlayStation, PlayStation 4 needs to lower More power! <laughs> 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 Fucking 
get to know anyone. Yeah, no, it's, 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 it's been going back home. It's been going around again because people are looking at memes of something to do and put only textures and only text from home improvement over. Everything you see is burp, 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 burp. That guy, I would, if I could bet that guy would shake his hand. Your the guy who means up, anything that brings back home improvement into the, into the, the you know, this is a weird forward compatible. As well as quite a few more third party partners. Finally, I'd like to show you how PS4 Pro. That's what you use, like, board compatibility is the, what they're calling. We are games very very which will get upgrades the because they're on the PS4 Plus. The or PS4 Pro. Yeah, as a, as, as a non-hardcore gamer, to I cannot be faced that sense like a fraction. Yeah, yeah. It matters, it matters whether or not the actual VR developers VR have planned ahead for that, or if they've created a... If they've, if they've made a PC, if they've made a really good PC port, then that means it'll not be a big deal. It'll actually be one thing to do is turn on a switch. But for anybody who didn't develop at the time, it means they're going to have to go and rebuild the whole damn thing. Are you running sideways on a wall? Is this Halo? That's not Halo. It looks wild. Like this. <laughs> nope, not a mission. Mm, no. <laughs> no. 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 Provide developers with the tools and technologies that can further the dog with that big hack. One of the hacks like, truly embraces the situation. Oh, I mean, suppose if, they, if it all runs on Unity or Unreal, it's probably not. Never before seen gameplay from the highly anticipated Horizon Zero Dawn, which showcases what can be achieved. I like the look of Horizon Zero Dawn. It looks like a good game. High dynamic. Uh, range dispatch. Thank you. Yeah, okay, it's poison. It's poison. Sleep. Yeah. Well, this the horizons are done. Like to wake up, but this is a cool game. That's a mild applause. Yes. Yes, indeed. We are looking forward to this. Mm -hmm. Oh yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Wait, is this is this uh, it's not a prequel or a sequel or anything? This is a new IP. Oh, right, okay. Brand new game. Also, I just realized what the IP is for. It's not your problem. Yeah. 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 Welcome to the new world. New world. <laughs> I'll just leave and let This leave. does look ugly as sin because of the stream that we're watching it on. Well, admittedly, for the people watching it on our stream, it looks nice because it's all compressed in, so it's all squeezed. <laughs> Meanwhile, for us, it looks like shit. They actually can see it in a nice. Uh, like the, so it looks nice, looking nice in that little box in the corner. Oh, no, it's actually not that way. Uh, can I reach the box? I can't find it. I'm holding it up. Alright, enjoy it, guys. Oh, you know what? Any wrestling fans out there, you know. <laughs> That's over there. Yeah. 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 So yeah, this looks pretty and all. Yeah, I can play it. I'm waiting for him to show you a little bit of the action. That's gonna burn the fuck out of your hands! Yeah, oh, wow, 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 wow. How is your hand much broke? Right, check this out. Oh, okay. Mecha Giraffe! That kind of looks like the Starship Enterprise as well. Yep. <laughs> is that not the Starship Enterprise? Oh. Well, the latest Star Trek. <laughs> it's like, not even the Enterprise, what the old uh, ship was called. I can't remember what that was called. Also, happy 50th anniversary to Star Trek tomorrow. Oh, that's right, because the, uh, the old uh, the MMO is actually on the PS4 now. Yep. Oh, that's not even, I think it's a good thing that the games out at the same time as this. Yeah, but it's been out for a few years on the PC. Yep. I had a few several friend of mine that were actually played it like, constantly. But I might actually, I'm going to see if I can find one and get it next to the Oh, wait, can I actually see? This is kind of, this kind of reminds me of like Shadows of the Colossus. Oh no, like, we being able to ride on the platform on the deck. This is brilliant. I'm assuming I get fairly very close to this. Well, it's probably like a T-Rex chasing after us all of this. Uh, it's smaller than this. But uh, yeah, it's definitely... Near there. Near there. <laughs> I'm just gonna climb up these inconvenient steps and touch to its neck. Who is Zayn? Like, what god does Zayn this creature? <laughs> no, the god was man all along. <laughs> we created our own destruction. Man, that's just fucking a stick into a hole, overrides everything, and then the. Uh, but, but it's what? It's our hack stick. stick. Come on! It's our hack stick. stick! And it's got holograms in it too? Ooh. And they're like, where did that come, come from? from? Oh, wait, I've been that's her motor. No, she actually controls it, I'm sure. Mm, I don't know. Oh, yeah! I like that. Oh, it's good, it's good! Nice. Oh, I can see that in our end. So the giraffes are kind of like set, like uh, signal generators. So they, that probably like, converted everything within range. Kind of like, it's like a, a moving car that, uh, that you can find in the south. Yeah, that's what it's ideally like. Okay, right. <laughs> I mean, the 
played that game ever. But uh, have you played any of them? No. <laughs> oh, shit, man. I have to loan you one. I'm waiting for someone to be like, here, to tweet me at, you know, at real will something. But it's like, get off the stream. You've never played Assassin's Creed. Fucking <laughs> die. That's one thing I forgot to do. I should have actually, you see the space up here that we have? Very much Mark I should have actually put up the text saying at real will combo. Yes, or actually talking about like, oh, transformation hmm. in the way the gamers hmm. experience hmm. their favorite type. I don't know. You're gonna wreck this. At the same time, yes, I am, but the audio is still working. Sure that PS4 remains a <laughs> single unified community. Shit because we, you can't the same discs and downloads will run oh, yeah. on both the standard Maybe. model oh, and happens. PS4 Pro. Yeah, it still work. But they will play in multiple so ways. That one, that one in addition to support for the standard right. model, we're asking Maybe our publishing and development yes. partners to consider how they can Pretty best support PS4 on 4K on TVs and also on HD TVs with each and every time. One great example of this transformation. There we have the live chat on the screen. Oh, cool. So if you can read that, I like not read what we're all on the screen at all. The new level of no, gaming experience not the, not on PS4 Pro. Please, not please not welcome Activision CTO. Did people talk as well? And did people say something? I have no idea what they've been saying. Because yeah, I can't read that at all from here. Nope. 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 Can't win. Even if, even if they, they are giving us a hint, I still love you all. <laughs> I love you every single last one of you for actually commenting, but um, I'm sorry. I have no idea what you're saying. And I can't. Oh, come on now. Come on, Andy. Pick up, Andy. Oh, fuck, they've broken his mic! <laughs> What's that? Oh, I. They can't hear me. Oh, couldn't you hear me? Ah. Aha! Activate your talented studio teams. It's exciting. He just turned it. Did you know he turned into a small future. second? Your man's Malcolm Papa. Um, PlayStation 4. Aha! Uh -huh. ah. There's nothing else like Call of Duty. Except the Call of Duty, too. Yeah. Metal of Honor back in the day. I used to play Metal of Honor. They were actually pretty good series. Yeah, games back in the day. Our teams leverage every ounce of the console to deliver the greatest possible detail to surround players and immerse them. I'm actually in the chat now telling people I can see them now. Oh, right, okay. Our developers can be more excited about what... So whatever they're saying in chat, I can now see. I, can now, I can't see what they said previously, but I can see what they say now. And enhanced GPU. So if they feel free to actually now deliver richer textures, <laughs> oh, nice. okay, good and 4K graphics. Oh, go on top. To, that's why I forgot the switch. I forgot the switch. Yep. Because you were thinking they were actually going to this fall. Infinite Warfare. I for some reason thought this was modern thing. warfare remastered. Yeah, whatever. Uh, we'll support uh, YouTube Discord. Discord you know. Out See, there's actually live YouTube as well. Did. I didn't want to actually try and run two streams at the same time. And for you, Black Ops no, 3 fans, don't work. Oh, Black Ops 3? Never mind. I zoomed out what he was saying, and it seems like we're Black Ops 3. Like, ah, oh, I'm out again. With an online <laughs> <title update. laughs> we're triggered. One unified <laughs> Call of Duty community, wherever they play, playing together on PlayStation 4. It's so weird to look at two versions of myself. Because <laughs> they, they've got different, so let's take they've different timings between them. This clip is from a mission well, called Operation Dark just, Core. You know, nobody is actually During this it's mission, okay. you and your crew answered the thing with, uh, tweet, you from a mining facility in an asteroid. Oh, God. That's oh, wait, I can look up your stream. I can look up your stream, though. Yeah, if you look up your stream, you'll be able to see what's being said, and I'll be able to see what's being said. Because of its proximity to the sun, getting caught outside. Yeah, I can look at that. I can look at that, too. This is actually, do you know what? The layout works really well. This is the way we actually have the setup now. Yeah. Because I actually have the videos in the bottom right corner and not the top left. So it actually works well. We'll search and rescue. This wasn't a terrible idea. Okay, I, filled, I filled the spaces on the two of the there. Oh, yeah. So this is the Infinite Warfare game. Call of Duty Infinite Warfare. Call of Duty uh, Halo Edition? No, no, Call of Duty Alien School of Wars. Oh, oh, well, yeah, okay, that makes sense. They had Call of Duty Alien School of Wars. Which would be genius. Let's see what we can find. Oh, God. Call of Alien Duty. Do they like that? You want to do your username there? Do you want to be a regular as well? You can be it. The thing is, you're this on the show, you're on the show, but you can't actually remember the name of the god. After all this time, I still can't spell the, uh, pastiche. Pastiche? I can't spell the, uh, pastiche. Pastiche. That's the thing, the guys that that thing the BBC with, they yeah. got, they got pastiche immediately. The guy just wrote down, and it was like, pastiche. And I was like, this is the thing that people who are before. Oh my. Alright, on the BBC. Damn, I'm motherfucking BBC. Because you worked with them, I'm gonna stop. I'm gonna stay on the back. Because you're going to hide. Why the hell did you pull that? I assume the way I went there. I'm tired of power. I think it's about right after the spot. 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 I think it's about right after the spot.
bit of like part of it. Now I'm not happy that I didn't get my time. You take a snip. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, spotlight. And then BBC Northern Ireland. Thanks. I like this robot versus human. I actually like the space combat. This could get me to play Call of Duty again, especially with the fact Call of Duty does tend to have a pretty decent single player campaign. A lot of people are, don't give a shit about Infinity Warfare. I actually do give a fuck about it. More people are actually pre ordering it for a copy of Modern Warfare 1 that comes with it for free as a pre order for this. Which is I like for people who are massive fans of the Call of Duty series, great, but I'm actually like, like, looking at them and going, like, fuck, power frost I want to fly a spaceship around a green shot from space. space. I want to gravity hook from spaceship to spaceship. This Why am I not doing that in Destiny? Both Destiny and Battlefield 1 will support the new ones. And early next year, we're bringing Mass Effect and Andromeda. Destiny is about loot drops, that's essentially what that game is. Mass Effect and Andromeda is going to take you to a whole new galaxy. Hey, Mass Effect! The experience on PS4 Pro is going to be Andromeda, I remember that team. You'll be totally Andromeda. Have you ever played Discovered Mass Effect? All new games? alien worlds, brought uh, to life with sharper graphics. Actually, yes, and high I was thinking of that when you were talking about Destiny. <laughs> we're all saying the great <laughs> movie like like characters. Um, I actually enjoyed Mass Effect 1, 2, 3, suffered for the fact that it had that bulbing effect where it's like 2 was in terms of all the shit going on, and then 3 went, oh fuck, we have to end it. Here we find the end. That actually finishes up all about a peak. Please enjoy. I'm actually not dead. Yeah, there you go. And all I'm saying is, hey, hey. See, if you say hey hey in the chat, I'll see that now. And then the problem is, if that's not actually Twitch chat, I don't know where that chat's coming from. <laughs> well, that's not a good thing. So this is, oh shit man, this is actually first footage of a drama. I haven't seen this before. Cool. This hasn't been broadcast before. Well, it's inside a board ship, that's all I get outside to me. Well, the whole point is, Andromeda is actually like so, oh, well, so you actually, oh, yes, oh, awesome, fucking traversal. Okay, I'm actually happy with that. And then a flyer. We've got the Borg everywhere now. Yeah, shut the, the fuck up about the Borg. <laughs> We've actually got the ability to move, maneuver, you've got jump jets, you've got the ability to jump. <laughs> you couldn't jump in fucking Mass Effect. In the future world, you could hide behind walls, but you can't jump. This also does this to allow the human It just sucks. That's okay. Oh, it's actually, no, it's not even a Borg ship, it's kind of. Uh, tech. But the, the reason why Andromeda, the whole point is with it is, is Mass Effect, but. Um, you're actually on a ship that's been set out to find a new place for Earth before the battle of Mass Effect 3. So you don't know the fucking humans won or lost. You're just so far away that it doesn't even matter anymore. You, you, this is like, this is a Voyager S storyline going on where you're off in the fucking far end of the universe with aliens that you've never seen before or species you've never seen before. Essentially, just reconnaissance for humans that could maybe come here in the next 20, 30 years. Cool. See what I love in games, I guess. I can't help but help. I can't help but thank you. Why won't any of these companies make a decent Stargate game? You have so much to work <laughs> from. And it kills me every time when somebody. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. I think the times that they tried to make a Stargate game, it was just like really, really interfered with by the people who made Stargate. Yeah. Because the people who made Stargate are really fucking stringently connected about their material and saying, like, that doesn't make sense with the better, better. <laughs> like, the, I was like, 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 I was Oh man, have you ever seen Stargate? And they went, no. I was like, oh, you have to watch it. And I was like, oh, is it like a few episodes and more to get into? No, no, no. It was like 12 seasons, and that's only the first show. It was seven different shows, about 470. And the guy was holding his pen in his hand, and he was like, what's it going? Go story, bro. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, yeah. Because like, the beer, and they're like, just no part of the conversation. Just the tip. Just the tip. Just the tip. Just the tip. Only as far as the. Um, Whenever your man becomes like connected with the aliens and the they have the dynamic machines that they have to fight and the aliens say like, yeah. Oh, we would have never thought that having all lead being thrown through the air all these and points could yeah. be all sound the world. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Don't burn off this one. Asgards? Yeah, the Asgards, that's what we're Oh cool, so this is actually the people that are on your ship. They're all the species chart. and races that you know from really the original years. Off the chart. But if it's back online, we should be good. Nope. nope. Never never meal chef, always have chef. Always fab chef. See whenever Mass Effect 3 came out and they put a fab chef on the cover, they were so fucking sharp and happy that the fab chef they chose was almost identical to the fab chef that I made myself in Mass Effect 1. Almost identical. So whenever they, I got, I literally got a copy of the game, my character on the front cover that I made, I'm like, oh yeah. 
Thanks very much, Aaron. I'm not quite happy you send a bit As of As you can see with the games okay. shown today, yeah. he has a little pro. Even though it's really hard to play athletes through a series of games, it's kind of cool. Wow, I mean, I got that first thing when I ever played through Dot Hack, and even Those though you're not playing as a creative character, you're playing as a set character, but if you play through four games, the same guy, it seems to feel like you're going to play D&D. If I take my character sheet with me, and I go to this game, and that guy dies in that game, he's fucking dead, and I can re-roll a new character. It's, it's the whole thing I'm happy to announce that a new Netflix app will be available for PS4 Pro at launch. fucking time. By the end of the year, 600 hours of 4K content will be available on Netflix, including Narcos Season 2, which recently premiered, and Luke Cage premiering September. Go Facebook, it's like, Narcos, and Both of these titles will support 4K and HD. In addition, YouTube, which is already among the largest sources of the content aimed at, is developing an app for the girl who got caught and then she had to spend, was it, like two years, three years, three years, three years, three years, three years, three years, and then six years, uh, and then in, in, in a Columbian in a manner present. We haven't Welcome to reality, Northern Ireland, right there. To high yep. definition video. You know why? That was something. Which is why every she was treated around like a pack of goddamn cigarettes. Very first Do you hear it's actually like cigarettes are no longer the major currency in prisons? It's actually brown. Will be HDR capable via a firmware upgrade next week. Noodles? Alright, because the food's so shit in prison that ramen is actually the biggest Higher thing, dynamic actually, range means I see, I see realism, more visual beauty, and, and, and the broader uh, spectrum of colors ever realized, realized on the prison. That is, I think they did with that, the proper like, display, uh, all 40 million so, people so, users you know, like, can join the HDR more, so that way you're, it's, cause smoke it's 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 PlayStation, and we're clear in our mission to make the game of the center of our universe. We're steadfast. In our, in our commitment, commitment to be the best place to play. <laughs> and we believe this is the as well. It means you spent less time in prison, but... Some of the best games are still, still yet, yet to come. So, so uh, I'm not going to roll since I read a lie on here. I'm waiting for this fucking thing with this. Oh, we're getting our 1-1. We're getting our 1-1. Trailer's better, man. This is our 1-1 trailer. It's going to do it all. That's sweet. This is going to let me show the footage we just watched. I'm watching from the heavens to keep safe from All the other tennis with the PS4 Pro and I barely spoke about the PS4 Pro. So I'm really about to say what the PS4 Pro said because... Oh, that's actually going to be cool. Uh, Sonic 3. That's PSX. PSX is a kind of audience right here. Alright, guys. Oh, I'm going to get my dad with the arms in there. That's not a guess. I'm just the whole part. Yeah, Final Fantasy 15! Or, you know, what makes it a thing? I have a charcoal. Yeah. Sure. But I am sure. <laughs> oh. It sounds like a Bruiser team that she was in the Red vs. Blue series. Is that it? Is that the conference? Sounds like a promo from oh, the right, so right. like Johnny Cash instead of like. Our vision is to present a clear choice for the game. We want to deliver the best games to our fans. We want to invite new members to join our community. We want to offer an option for those that want to play. There's actually a safety latch on that. So tonight is my pleasure to introduce you to Jason Lee. Jason Lee is the Chief Executive Officer of Microsoft. Jason Lee is the Chief Executive Officer of Microsoft. Jason Lee is the Chief Executive Officer of Microsoft. Jason Lee is the Chief Executive Officer of Microsoft. Jason Lee is the Chief Executive Officer of Microsoft. Jason Lee is the Chief Executive Officer of Microsoft. Jason Lee is the Chief Executive Officer of Microsoft. Jason Lee is the Chief Executive Officer of Microsoft. Jason Lee is the Chief Executive Officer of Microsoft. Jason Lee is the Chief Executive Officer of Microsoft. Jason Lee is the Chief Executive Officer of Microsoft. Did you hear? Did you hear? Nobody fucking applauded. Not a single fucking raise from the crowd. Oh wow, that pro looks absolutely awful. They actually it looks like, it looks like a PS4 just with an extra tier on top of it. It does. Also, I was going to say, say, say they look like two star. For both PS4 Pro and the PS4, the value proposition and the choice ultimately remains with games. Uh, we, we invite, invite you, you to experience the God's thought thing because you just said Season 3 had a lot of like, so many redesigns. Thank you everyone for your time and for joining us today. Is that it? Thanks, Thanks for having me. Fuck me, you serious? Is that, see, yeah, you're getting really more upset about this than I am. Fuck right off. Oh, maybe this is the lovely... No, it's just a trailer for the PS4 Pro. With its extra fucking rich. It's extra rich for the Pro. That's it. Oh, it's not it. 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 It's
I just took the fucking straight from the pot and put it on the side so they can. Oh, oh! I'm going full Wookie here. Oh, yeah. yeah. Fuck Don't... that! No clapping at all. Not a fucking noise to cry. Don't use clap. Don't use that crowd clap. They're not, they're not clapping. They're getting the fuck out of there. Oh, no, that was bad. Oh man, come on Sony, you're so much better than this, you actually do really good stage shows for like big conferences. Like, we're gonna stick around for the live cast, but I wanna see who the fuck they have for Dennis that can try and make this actually in any way interesting. We talked through out the entirety of this and not a single fucking thing was lost. Well, apart from my, from my mic wasn't alive. Hey, yeah, like I from from oh, Sigurd, from, uh, from Cur 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 Cerny. Wow. Look at this! <laughs> you can't even fucking clear the screen. Oh man. Like this is brilliant. This, this is like this is obviously this is exactly what I thought might have happened. Like what before I start, whenever they're doing this and switching over to the live cast, mm -hmm. they probably didn't think people would be getting up and telling moving the fuck out of the way. And like look at them, they're all trying to get photographs of the gear post up so they can post it up on their website as soon as they get outside. <laughs> That's exactly what it is, like that dude is actually like looking around the shoulder to try and get a good light, good angle. Yeah, I'm like, even the camera is clear frame because people are fucking hold their cameras up and frame. Oh, this Come is on, glorious! Yeah, in a bit. Oh, this is almost as good as the Sega conference. Oh, I'll have to show you that one. Here, Tony Gaga, I read something. This is like one of the geek this is probably the geekiest time I've ever seen. Dude. Really? Oh, one of the geekiest times, alright? Oh, I've heard of it. But if, this, if you ever hear about it, like, that Sega conference was a fucking horror show. It was a horror show to watch. I don't not even find a cover up at all. Yeah, and they just came up like, fuck it. Just take that. But you can see all the different cameras people are using. Like, that dude's using a uh, camera phone or a SD, or like a HD camera. And like, they probably just came up and showed it, so they're just going to show the trailer again. So they're like, oh, get the fuck off the screen. Yeah. I'm going to show the exact same thing we just did. Who's the other represent the live cast? Who's gonna be? Tony Danza. Should have been. Yeah. And his mic's so dead! Yes! We just saw a lot of big, big news coming out of PlayStation tonight. In the PlayStation in Sherman, 34 New York. Lots, lots to go over. And, and I'm gonna bring in my buddy. It's the Sherman, 34 New York. I know you're, 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 the, you're sitting out in the audience. audience. Yeah, you took it all in here. Hope you're the chairman of World Wide Studios. Yes, it would probably be so. I think it was with some great first party content. I mean, Days Gone. I think it looked phenomenal out there. That's the truth. Coming out just in February next year. Looks like it's ready to go. go. But yeah, yeah, I mean, it's 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 it yeah, 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 a lot, lot of news tonight. I mean, there was, was uh, we also had a slimmer PS4 that we had for some of that. And then we can get some PS4 Pro. And I mean, this is designed not only for 4K displays, but also HDTV that are benefits no matter what. It is the incident of the goddamn phone. Most exciting, you know. Pull quote for the presentation for PS4 Pro. Pro. Oh, I got your cameras up. I have two pounds of cider in me. I have two pounds of Yes. Right on the corner. 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 Right on the we will have a firmware update which will take every one of the 40 plus million PS4s across the world, make them in the air and make them compatible. Of course, the Slim will be able to get any more for PS4 and PS4 Pro. So, right across the board, anything that has PS4 is going to be able to you're talking about how important the narrative is. 
like, hey, you're watching you HBW the tail end of Taxi. Well, yeah, like, 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 who we were just uh, discussing. Like, 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 so I'm very excited to bring Horizon. I think we have Ginger Bear. That might have been you. I don't want to words in your mouth. John the Bear? I'll admit. And then tell me a little bit more about That's good, John the Bear. Thank you for watching for a second. This must be incredible. Yeah, I mean, I'm glad he's not done it. You guys as a team stepping into the new territory. That horrifically like literally because it's so, you know, it's this three. incredible new world. This is really not entertaining, man. Tell me about what I mean, that's like. I honestly thought maybe I mean, we get so it, it is a wonderful opportunity. It's by a mile and a half the most ambitious part of we've ever done. Of course, interesting and exciting in terms of all your other Actually, you know, compared to you know, the other like kind of like for <laughs> It is oh, a oh, very long And they've been silenced! They've been silenced! That's how much I get the screen. And it's garbage. I think it's far away with garbage. It's kind of lush. Wonderful oh, so wait, our viewers world. can't actually hear the streams anymore? They, they can't hear that stream, they can only hear us. So we are their only form of entertainment image for the next... I'm just looking at it myself. I just thought it would give them that bad thing. Because all they're talking about... We're going to play it with our audience after we don't have been talking, so I'll be able to see Which, it. Which, um, you haven't seen the video for this. You haven't seen the video for this. I've just seen, like, one thing where she had to, like, uh... We are creating this horse character in the way that is... Mm -hmm. and I think she's able to execute what we're good at, but there are a lot of which is technical uh, combat, right? right? We kind of hone our skills the kill zone. Oh, yeah, but then they got to shoot it. It was a craft system that they wanted to write. That's what the game's about. Yeah, so that's what are some of the lessons that you as a studio learn from kill zone and specifically in combat kind of apply to Aloy? It feels like a mixture of kind of far cry with Tomb Raider. I don't want to say traditional science fiction. That's what, like, looking at the three characters of Gold Sands, that's what it looks like to me. But I'm sure it's actually got a really interesting kind of a similar kind of story that's related to feeling like they were removed so from your own society and also then having to go out into the world and find all these creatures and monsters to survive. Not to say that the fantasy, everything is based uh, on science. Mm -hmm. Well, Uncharted specifically is actually uh, a treasure hunter. Really oh, sorry, not that one. Uh, we practiced a little bit with Max. Well, that's what I'm saying. This is a brand new IP, so they literally have never made a game exactly like this, but I'm just saying, every time I watch a game, I always see how it's bringing this. Most of the game I've seen there, we're seeing this wide open world uh, the there's again, a lot of things that were kind of pushing sort of in many of these directions. You like, can see the, uh, like, the sort of flying gun sort of over there. Like uh, just to add that little Could character to the world. The level of distance you get in the image is just incredible, uh, by the way. Is that a Microsoft uh, game? Running no, on uh, pro hardware. But uh, yeah, so tell me a little bit more about the combat then, like, because, uh, you know, Guerrilla yeah, Games prides itself tiger, on combat. Like, uh, kind of that oh, uh, Far Cry Primal. Um, Absolutely. Yeah, yeah, and that's what I'm thinking. It's running really like, Far Cry Primal with the crafting and the monster control, but it's all actually got very technology. It's all mechanical monsters. Look at Aloy compared to these Far Cry and Transformers. She's well, the, 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 the Transformers game again. Yeah, 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 the modern yeah. Transformers she movies, and I'm fine with the designs to remind me a lot of the modern Transformers, which are almost more biological than mechanical. Yeah, and uh, only these animals don't look like it. They made a two of these, the ones that are also sort of stuck in, so I was not getting too jumpy on time for sex, which is the problem with the first couple of movies of that series. The most recent one, the last one, and the combat yeah, like back to your guns and Transformers. You make okay, well, we're chatting about this. It actually has monsters that look like them. Um, but the, so the most recent Transformers movie with uh, Marky Mark and it's actually called. Evacuate and restell. Was it extinction? She should be able, when, when there are too, too many machines. No, that's one after extinction, I think. But uh, Marky Mark, in fact, they look like the Dinobots. Everything in this looks like the Dinobots. It was probably a bit of a way of reminding myself of, you know, that's what the Dinobots are engaging in and then evacuating that. This is such a better price. And I guess they don't even think about that a lot. If this is No Man's Sky, I wouldn't name that ever. I mean, is that important for you guys as a studio to kind of have to balance out those moments of intensity or moments of fire and play? Well, that's the thing. We can imagine, like, small animals that might have to survive around these very different creatures. Some people really like to hide out and talk around. Some people like to hide out and talk around. Large mammals. Yeah. Big, 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 maybe still like, like maybe. Uh, you know, I look around. Yeah, kind of <laughs> <laughs> right? But also maybe big but empty machines one by one. <laughs> Are you going to attack by that? Imagine we get attacked by a dummy. Right, 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 we need to talk about the alarm. That's the problem. Nature might be in Ireland at this time. Whether we get all of the wonderful little insects. And the larger ones, too. You try to light up the stadium and boom. You know, like, everything is going to come through. Yeah, and they're going to be like, oh, it's 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 going to be like,
because that obviously plays a huge role in the well. Uh, two street lights are you're dealing with such. They're they're no. both familiar yeah. and unfamiliar at the oh, same time. Like, they they, they, they kind of, of course, are reminiscent of like prehistoric creatures, but they have such abilities. They must be doing no fucking biter with the sign. So most of them are based on real life animals. Yeah, this is like a specifically with when you see an animal, it's got a certain behavior. Six legs. Oh, this one seems to have like an extra like, yeah. part of a machine's out there, the so you expect them to Dude. flee when you're it's out there. Like, well, is it like a feeler and then it's yeah, it's like a yeah, feeler. So you can imagine like you get from here, and then there's like a, the, your the little fingers hanging off this. It's a very weird thing on the back. You actually find a mutant animal that's like a human like ours. I wonder where the radiation was going to. Maybe when it's like your final takeaway from this event here in terms of the PS Pro, PS4 Pro, I can't even say. Which kind of hot dogs for you, and what do you feel like the most exciting thing about this technology? What I love about it is that there will be kind of the ultimate for people that want to get, want to go the extra mile and get a great experience, and they get. An even better resolution. I'm, I'm thinking actually that uh, yeah, when, it, when this stream ends, it's like a way we've been doing this thing. I want to ensure it and save you have a space ball. No, I'm, I'm doing the whole thing. It's not a way for playable. I'm paying attention to what I can tell you, you're even better when it comes out. When you get the baseline mold, you can arrive with the baseline or you get it. For PlayStation 4 Pro, you can have an amazing shirt. experience. I mean, that's something that we should reiterate before I finally let you go and you can actually mingle with everyone tonight. It's that uh, <laughs> it's, it's, it's it's like kind of is going to be fully playable, beautiful, pre amazing pre on the standard pre PS4 look, model. I mean, but you guys can get a little it's extra mileage out of that like, PS4 Pro like hardware. I might get one myself. Really? Yeah, I might. I might. I feel like they would just mail it to you or something. Professional Kirk Cobain. I shave my hair and I put on my glasses. And then maybe I can set you up with something. Oh, we can do okay. Herman. Thank you so much. Wait, it's a pleasure this, seeing you. This, uh, and now, finally, for you, those at home who have look at, looked at us, I mean, really? handsome guys, Wait, especially this guy here, but something. maybe we want to look what at this point? instead. Uh, let's give you guys another look at this footage uh, running on PlayStation 4 Pro. So we're going to see some more footage of a game running on PlayStation 4 Pro. I'm going to let the audio back in again, because this is actually going to be game footage rather than them talking shit. I'm going to sit back and actually watch this. So this is the same footage we just saw yeah. on their TV. It is, it's exactly the same, but oh, come on, guys, at least show us something new. So, yeah, Horizon Zero Dawn, we've already talked about it as much as humanly fucking possible. Why not, why not do a lap over it again? Actually, they can market this. You know, uh, if you've ever seen Nerf guns and stuff, they have the rebel, you know, arrows and stuff, mm -hmm. and bows. They can. I think it's totally this. I actually see a female character. That's not, I was literally, that was the next thing I was going to talk about is actually female protagonists in video games. Whenever you think about ones on the top of your head, who do you think of? You think of Lara Croft, Samus Aran, yeah, I don't know who that is. Uh, Metroid. Oh, that's a girl inside that Yeah, no, I know that. I'm just Metroid. I just, you didn't know what her real name was. Pretty much, Princess Zelda is a protagonist in a Buffalo game, which is not really about it. So think of that one. Um, who else do you think of off the top of your head? Oh, um, Bayonetta? I can't remember her name. Oh, we still got a game too, or how is she going to say it? No, Fino, 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 Fino,
you know, like timeline wise, it's actually a little bit longer than the next time. And then Street Fighter, like it's, if you remember, if you ever play Street Fighter Alpha? Maybe. So there's characters Street Fighter Alpha called Birdie. Birdie was this big, like, well, really top heavy, massive arm guy who had like chains and a mohawk. I just realized how did we not reference uh, the TT, uh, TT, uh, the ATT walkers from oh, Star Wars? Yeah, that's true actually. This is what I was looking at the like This is a good. Yeah, I suppose. I mean, they're, they're less like ATT because they actually have like the really super long necks. Also, they have the ability to walk a little bit quicker. <laughs> they can move a little bit faster. Oh, Up next, stuff. Days Gone. Woo! Yeah! Woo! I'm sure what, what member of the dev team are going to be talking to with this thing? Hey, I'm Joe. Uh, they just picked me out from the lab. My name is Kev. Yeah. Don't know what I don't My know name what is Wow. We are the two people. Hello, my friends. Welcome back. I'm joining. It's an absolute pleasure to see you again, sir. Well, Thank you so much for joining me. We are talking about Days Gone. There's the logo right here. Hey, uh, you guys, this is a very exciting time Bobby. because we showed you the footage from Days Gone running yeah, on PlayStation 4 Pro more. Hardware. <laughs> uh, tell me a little bit about what the Pro Hardware not only means to you as a developer, but also kind of to oh, specifically the, the project you guys are working on. Well, for Days Gone, very easy. Uh, I'm so, so out. tempted to actually you know, come up uh, this live cast. You know, I did, what, it, what it's really providing us with is a clarity that we have in the I was actually sitting around playing This is super astounding. Um, you know, so the, the details of the environment are really popular. Thank you for you know, the still staying with us. Oh, Brandon's still there, that he actually like, he has commanding veto vote. Um, and we have uh, uh, veto this uh, program. You know, when, when we first, uh, uh, first got it up and running, they put it out front of the team. Each of you have a veto vote. Vote on what you prefer. Would you like to continue watching this live cast during the park? And then tell me a little bit about the specific technologies of, you know, the PS4 Pro that you guys feel like have been most beneficial to you as a studio. Well, I mean, the the resolution, you know, increase in resolution. Plenty of multiplayer games that we could offer there. That was the first step, getting that up and running. I actually wanted to kick your ass to Chandra, but I haven't got that yet. And again, you know, it's like our character artist came in and saw a deep and actually could see all the first in detail, you know, writing down their face. Yeah, you know, in Oh, I'm totally kicking the freaking ass now. It's weird. It's a ninja shooter. And I'm going to kick your ass. I'm going to go over here. It's not even on the technical side. You check the responses? Check the responses. See what they actually said. There's nothing to show my Twitch. From an artistic perspective. <laughs> That's the thing we're not refreshing our torches as fast enough. Player as well. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. So you know, like, never really it's an open world of... environment. So we have yeah, a lot of scenes shit? where you're, you're going know. into <laughs> like, dark interiors, to you bright say, hey, exteriors. Hey. So no, trying to to manage that exposure in mm. lighting. Um, you know your uh, uh, prestigious on a, skin on the SDR TV, uh, is regular TV, it's pretty tough. You do a lot of work to make that picture? feel right. Sure. But then well, when you put the HDR, that all, all of that yeah, yeah, yeah. comes That's the whole point of the branding thing. I need to actually have the whole branding thing. Your office, which is our case in Ben. Is what I mean, you I can, see, see the way we this is set up now yeah, the screen say, right is over this top is based on your office, office and <laughs> I can probably the uh, surrounding environment that's uh, actually sort of the fuck out of it. Yeah, I mean, that's amazing. And, and I think that's actually the point you made about looking out of a window. I think that's one yeah, of the best ways to illustrate what HDR can do is sort of that ability to really show off to the player. Come on, Brandon! Come on, I can see, right? Because you got the choices. You got the choices. You got the You got the power. 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 You got and I, when you guys are playing that camera by, you know, and, and it's just incredible, the lighting effects. I mean, yeah. what is that like for, you know, teams like your lighting team, your art, your art team? I mean, is that like just like open up new tools for them to use? Like, yeah, yeah. yeah. for yours. Yeah. I mean, you know, again, like, our goal from the like, beginning was to have, you know, a visual realism in the environment. It's because I don't know what you're trying to So, once you turn on HDR, it's like you're making judgments on my thoughts. I've been set up here whenever you pretty much have what about in terms of obviously the pro hardware is a little more powerful and developers are able to achieve a more stable performance? Is that the kind of thing that you can actually pull that all the way back and actually do it? Because all the work is very demanding. Your game is, may I say, looking very nice. So that, of course, is a strain on the hardware. But with the pro hardware, I mean, something you guys can play around a little bit more. I mean, is that is that a benefit to your team as well? It is a benefit, and, and, and you know, even for, for 
Gamers like, gamers like that yeah. Yeah. Right. I think this is weird. Right. So this is a huge benefit. We can actually do like a live. That's an important point. Yeah, because they tell me to be. I could go to the bottom and set up the Saturn and actually play on that ship. We could get the NES on. We could actually play PS4. Yeah, yeah. Tell me a little bit more about the game. If someone's just, let's say they just tuned in. The first time they've ever seen Days Gone. Give you give you the full summary on what players can expect here. So so Days Gone. It's an open world game. So say for example, if we about as a night where we just sat down. This handsome. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Um, he's a drifter and bounty hunter. Um, it's two years it. after a global That's pandemic. That's the way it would actually be people who would come to watch us on a regular basis. World. That's the way um, Twitch works. Uh, and rather than actually he, his background, he comes from, uh, you know, people don't watch it to MC, and advertising. Mm -hmm. you know, so he, he's, so, he's like, rough and tough as it is and been been through a lot, but now he's going to a lot. Refreshing tennis. Super dangerous. You know, product placement. You, uh, if you just product placement, we have to actually, Yeah, I mean, and you guys first revealed this at E3 this year, correct me if I'm wrong, and I mean, that must have been a spectacular feeling for you guys to have worked on something for so long and you find the logo it off. It's one of those rules that kind of, like, people remember in terms of dealing with kind of an open world, uh, you, you know, obviously, this gentleman is using a motorcycle to get around. I mean, that must play a role in the game design that you guys are putting together. A lot of people do that. A lot of people actually this is two years after. Companies Everything were doing their lives went wrong. Went sour. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Went real sour. Really, really bad. <laughs> Fuck so, you know, away. the Fuck the movie. Roads, I'm sorry, I've taken uh, away their ability to speak because since you were up you know, being able to get around and getting finally some group. energy in the yeah, bastards after our last part of watching the broadcast and not single word being said higher than maybe four decibels. Does that mean that the way that your team sort of lays out the world, like the idea of Days Gone, does that actually change the way that they're creating environmental design? I mean, it's a. Transportation is gone. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah, yeah. So, so is that mean that when, if you're, so yeah, uh, yeah, 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 Setting up for whatever mission sure. you're you know, right. um, doing. Anyway, Days Gone, right, so it's about the trailer that they showed was at um, E3. But also very, very nimble. Was pretty you know, down. Get out of the situation. Like it was, it was pretty really kind of like, oh, yeah. shit, that's a lot of zombies. <laughs> Tell me a little bit about the kind of actually we're, we're kind of seeing on the screen here. Yeah. Uh, they're using all the zombie cocktails, which of course look great. Yeah, oh no, that one was pretty good. That was the only really good thing about that. Man, that's not fun. How is Days Gone separate from? I have no basis. Imagine that's how much I've never seen Days Gone. Imagine that's how much I've never seen Days Gone. Imagine that's how much I've never seen Days Oh, okay, no, that uh, would be something. You know, yeah, no, look, there was a scene in this whenever he runs past uh, the train. And actually grabs the door and so throws the really behind him. And instead of going through the train and barging through the door, they go the over the train. Like they basically the build up massive uh, bodies and start climbing and over each other and get over the top of the train to come after him. And then finally burst through the train just by the way. And it's like, you know, finally, you know, you know, it's like, you know, it's like, it's on their rooftop, you see the she, like, starts filling like, up barrels, and they keep people there. They still start trying to get a kick out of each other, they're trying to chase them on their rooftop. Like, yeah, yeah, shoots down as many guys as they can. Pulls up a sentry way, and they're running towards him, he's just popping over them. They get sentry, it's like a bomb next to him, and he can't. He kills them, and they start filling bodies up, 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 and they Okay. And, and there's a natural and progression. You know, no, no, you hear that click, click, click of the gun. Anything oh, you can well. share with and us? And then there's a zoom panning <laughs> shot so out from the actual shooting Okay, like well, before we wrap up, I kind of want to know, in terms of you as a developer, you know, what do you take away like, from yeah, the PS4 yeah, Battlefield where you feel like it's been really beneficial to you guys as a team? Like, no sense. It really has. I mean, it's anything in particular, like any specific elements that you feel like you guys are like, wow, this was it. When we got HDR, no, who's dying? That was the game. 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 Alright, excellent. Well, well thank you so much, Chris, for joining me today. Yeah, yeah. Well, and of course, thank you to all of you uh, watching okay, at home. Uh, just a quick reminder that a lot of the text and clips that Chris and I are chatting about uh, will be available yeah, that's in, that's in 4K uh, in the days to come, to come on to Video On Demand. Yeah, well, I would actually like to Please stay tuned for that. Also, please stay tuned because we are going to hear from some of the top developers of Worldwide Studios and beyond about some of the ways that will leverage PS4 Pro to create heightened experiences for you, or actually at the very end, like raise so it Please do not go anywhere. We have more to show you coming up. Stay with possible. us. <laughs> it's like, oh, fucking Freddie Mercury at <laughs> the last second. Great thing, great. I don't really Mark think it's going to have enough years to watch a video. It's a very good thing to say. 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 It's a very good thing to say.
PS4 has really been embraced by the development community. Oh, it's back to him! Third party. Mr. Sandman! As a result, it's become an Mr. Sandman. Generation for PlayStation. Tell me your it's spare. got the uh, oh, diversity oh, of games Tell us how you made the PS4 really grow. I mean, just in the, in the past few sleeping, months, I've been able to play The Witness, so which is a game. Do and I don't know when this will not be sort of over. Remake. And uh, AAA blockbuster games yeah. like uh, <laughs> Uncharted 4. I don't think it's even so the hard yet? question becomes, no, how do we keep wow. all of that going and innovate at the same time? Like Hence the sort of mid-cycle <laughs> refresh that PS4 yeah, Pro represents. Yes, exactly. PS4 Pro you know? is not oh, no, the size of the that's nor is it a console that's going to blur the yeah, lines maybe? between generations. That's important because there's oh, a the TV that they can develop. Oh, okay, okay. The start of the generation. Yeah, we, we have have they can still hear the TV. Right, right, since you what I was doing, it's like what I would always give. That's great here, because, so it because it allows them to create entirely new content. But at the same time, there's a certain cost associated with that. PlayStation 4 Pro. Arriving as yes. a well, mid-generation okay, yeah, no, means okay. that our Sorry, target well, is to just, the whole my PS4 first language. experience. See what happens whenever it actually disappears? That's actually the language or voices of them talking underneath or over the top of us. Oh, so it could be a little bit more that. the fan is actually yeah. giving a base level noise. Yeah. That's what I imagined it was going to be the entire time, but I just didn't give a shit. Uh, okay. so the thing is, the big ass test will be is if we do this. Great areas for us to focus on because they don't alter the fundamental gameplay. Yeah, the creative vision. Oh, pretty cool. That's cool. I mean, I asked why I turned the volume down on my phone. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so you guys, we, we can hear ourselves about 20 seconds in the past. That's it. The most amazing thing about using Twitch is having that time delay. I heard myself laugh. I was like, nope, don't like myself. I don't like hearing myself live. It's terrible. I can't record it and change it. Okay. So, are we giving up on Mark's army? I mean, I think I may be time to give up on this live stream. I think. I think. Mark's parents give up now. <laughs> they probably bored them to death. Um, Sorry, Mark. Yeah. You know. I mean, you're you're an interesting I'm dude. You're actually an extremely talented man. You have worked so hard in the infrastructure of the PlayStation. HDR is definitely. But really, this the, the, the this, this is actually exciting to engineers and engineers only. This is not a consumer conference. Isn't it? This, at no point did this feel like consumer conference. I'm glad they actually. Are you friends with him or something? He's like, I'm being polite. I'm a nice guy. I'm a nice motherfucker. Like you know, maybe bored his parents to death. You're like Mark. You know, you you know such and such and you know blah blah. I am a polite motherfucker with a possibility that I do not want to harm somebody who does an amazing job at what they do. Just probably, maybe, should not stand in front of the cameras and talk about their hardware experience. Because... Yes, I wouldn't, I wouldn't talk about my hard, hardware experience. I mean, it's been a good experience for the ladies, but I wouldn't talk about my hardware experience like that. Because this man is a gentleman. Um, the games are playable yes. on both consoles, of course. It's the same Purely a gentleman. Pure, yeah, purely only gentlemen. That's all he's experienced. The user experience is quite similar. The main difference. You got a retort for that? Yeah, I'll make it look like an accident. <laughs> all right, fair enough. <laughs> and on that bombshell. <laughs> all right, guys, we're going to actually probably stop the stream and restart it again uh, for the purposes of uh, it having a breakdown and actually being able to start up again for uh, pulling down, down a little copy or for archiving. So I am going to end it here for the PS4 PlayStation meeting experience that we have just shared with you guys. I hope you've enjoyed yourself. I hope you've enjoyed the stream. We will see you again very, very soon because we're literally going to turn this off turn it back on again. <laughs> Pretty much. Right. We'll take a commercial break and we'll see you guys very shortly. So Thanks for watching, guys. Thank we'll you. Chat to you soon. Remember, it's at Will Real Comedy and at Pastiche of Durham. And you can always get a hold of me on twitch.tv forward slash pastiche of skin or youtube.com forward slash forward slash forward slash forward slash pastiche of skin. <laughs> Thank you very much for watching. We will get you all in the next video. See you soon. Bye bye. Bye.